so we are just taking off you can see I uh, push a little bit on the right uh, pedal and uh, this effect uh, the slip because I'm, I'm keeping the dial in the center I'm keeping the aircraft uh, without any any slip uh, that's because of the uh, of the propeller it makes the wind um, turn around the aircraft as well as it goes uh, uh, to backward and because it turns it um, it pushes the um, uh, it makes a yaw on the uh, on the on, on this uh, part of the aircraft, uh, it, it uh, pushes uh, the uh, the tail to the side. That's uh, because the propeller is turning. It makes the, the wind um, uh, a little bit turn, turn uh, turning around the aircraft. That's also taken into account in this game, and uh, we try to to see this effect. I reduce the power and RPM, the slip to should tend to, to be reduced. If I increase that, the slip will increase also. You see now we have some more slip. And if I push the right pedal, I can uh, keep the dial uh, at zero. I can counter the effect of the, of the slip. This reduces the drag of the aircraft, and this has also another effect. It makes the the wing, the wind, to go um, the airflow to be symmetrical on both wings. Because if you are side slipping, then both wings does not have the same <coughs> the <coughs> the same efficiency on the wind. Uh, one wing. If we are side slipping uh, to to the left, then the left wing uh, receives uh, is uh, hidden by the by the cockpit a little bit hidden by the cockpit, and it receives less amount of air. It tends to to be less efficient than the right wing. So this is uh, what I want to discuss now about stall and spin. So there is the normal stall, the slow speed stall, just if we reduce the speed until the aircraft stalls, uh, this is uh, the low speed stall. If we make high G turn, we can also stall the aircraft. And why? It's because the incidence of the, uh, of the wing into the air, the, uh, the direction of the air, is increased by the G load. So uh, basically this means that at, at any speed the wing can remain unstalled even uh, uh, very low speed if you make this 0G because at 0G the, the incidence of the wing is always uh, zero, 0 degree so it's impossible to stall a wing but if the wing has 1G so 1G is just the weight of the aircraft there is an incidence if we have 2G or 3 or 4G the incidence is increased and above uh, uh, typically something around uh, 10 to 15 degree of incidence so it means that the nose is pointing here but the real direction of the aircraft is here <coughs> then we start to to have a partial stall of the wing and then total stall of the wing and if both wings stall at the same time this is a, a simple stall if one wing stall stalls first the other one will make the aircraft to spin around and uh, that's a spin and when the aircraft is into a spin you want to, to idle the power and to apply the rudder to the opposite direction and to push to push as far as possible the joystick because
because you want the aircraft to nose down into the vertical and you want it to stop uh, spinning so rudder opposite and push the stick and if you keep the engine the, po the power it may um, uh, in uh, add uh, to uh, some effect uh, the torque and other effects and uh, you may have more difficulty to exceed the spin and you may not be able to exceed at all um, so you idle the power so one thing to remember is to keep this dial center uh, when we are close from stalling and the stall can happen at high speed so now I uh, push the rudder to the left this makes us to have a, um, a very high slip and then we will enter a spin simply by making a high G turn so idle the power rudder left and push on the stick so in other terms <coughs> in other words the higher the side slip and uh, the lower the other uh, wing efficiency so the lower the G ratio you can make and this means that in a high G turn if you don't take care to have the dial in the center you, you risk to enter into a spin so now if I'm making a high G turn to the left I'm pulling the joystick more and more very smoothly because I want to, the aircraft to be stable and I'm pushing a little bit on the left rudder you can see now the dial is at the center because I make a little bit of left on the left pedal and this can make us to avoid the spin and having very high G turn you see you see it was quite centered the dial and uh, the uh, the stool was very near from being a spin but it was something recoverable and if you have the aircraft far from the from the uh, the dial from far from the center then it will just make a uncontrollable spin I can show you now that's something worse so as soon as it happens push the joystick and opposite rudder that's recovered but that's too late